Hello, in this video we're going to find the mean, the variance, the median, the mode of a Weibull distribution. This is a Weibull distribution and it has parameters k and lambda which are positive and x being the random variable which is uh, greater than or equal to zero. So first let's show it is a PDF. That means it integrates to one over its uh, domain. <clears throat> so we take the, the integral from zero to infinity of f of x dx. So we plug this in and we get this. We make a u substitution, uh, x over lambda raised to the k. So then we differentiate that and we get uh, the k comes out front, reduce it one, chain rule gives us uh, one over lambda. So we plug, you know, well actually all this is part of dx. So we just get e to the minus u du. You integrate that, you get minus e to the minus u. Uh, limits of integration that goes to zero minus a minus plug in zero you get one so it is one um, now to calculate the mean we it's expected value of x we stick in x times its uh, density we do this um, then we um, I, I combined the x into here and one of the lambdas here to get this. We make a u substitution of x over lambda is uh, of, is is the same. It's the same we got up here. It's this, um, but we have to subtract some of this over because of uh, we got to make it match this. So up here we can let x equal lambda u to the one k one over k and then here um, we divide by all this junk to go over so the lambda um, wax you know so we multiply that up and then we divide by this and then when it goes to the top we have to change the sign so we get we get this then um, we make all of our substitutions and we get this back okay so then now we start combining things um, this lambda can come out front the e to the u we stays the same and then we have uh, this goes into here so we get one minus k over k and then oh we just we go to here so the u stays the same now we combine this u into this so it's actually would it would come in as uh, as plus k over k but um, we want to make it a minus one so we have to add one and so these two combine to this and the reason that we say minus one is because then this piece looks like a gamma function and well it is a gamma function so the lambda comes out front and this is the alpha parameter in the, in the gamma function so it's gamma of one plus one over k and and that's if you look at this you can you know divide each by k and get the one and the one over k so this is the mean of a Weibull distribution to find the variance uh, I like to find the second moment so that means stick in an x squared times its density. We uh, use substitution, uh, take its derivative, and then for here we back solve for x because we will need that. So um, we for here we put that there. So it's uh, lambda uh, u to the one over k, you know, squared. So that's this piece then uh, this the dx you know all this is formed with dx just becomes du and that's u so we're left with this and again I take uh, well this mu because it's squared comes out front and this mu it, you know I make it uh, something minus one and so you can manipulate 2 over k to this and the reason you do that because this looks like a gamma distribution again with its parameter two 
plus k over k. So it's lambda squared times gamma of 2 plus k over k. Then the variance becomes, you just plug in the values that we just defined, respect the value of x squared minus the mean squared. So this quantity goes here, and then we square the mean, which was this, and we can factor out a lambda squared, leaving just this minus that squared. And so this is the variance of a Weibull distribution. Now for the median, uh, we want to find the x that makes this integral one half. Okay, so we set one half equal to this, and it goes from zero to some number. Maybe I should have called that m or something, because um, I have x's here. So the, these x's here are the dummy variables, and this is the value that we're trying to solve for. Okay, so then we let u equal um, the standard x over lambda raised to the k. We get the derivative back solve for x and we get this and then plug in everything and we get this. Now notice that for the limits of integration um, when we plug in 0 u is 0 so that's what this is and if we plug in x here we just we get x over lambda to the k which is what this is. So here's here's what we need to integrate. So you integrate this you get minus e e to the minus u, these limits of integration. So then you plug this in here and you get minus that which is this piece here and then it's minus then stick in the u and minus a minus is 1 so you get 1 minus this. Now remember this is equal to 1 half. So if you take this to the other side and subtract half and then uh, take the 1 over k through it, where you actually take the log of it. Anyway, you can solve for x and you get this. And so this is the median of the Weibull distribution. The mode, we want to find the highest point. And so we want to take the derivative of f of x and then what that becomes is um, uh, this piece here. So you, it's the, this times the derivative of the e part. Well, but so you get e back, and then you take the derivative of this, which is this, but then you have to take the chain rule, which you get this. And then it's plus the derivative of the first part which is what this is times the second and you set it equal to zero and start solving. Now whenever there's a like term we can divide it to the other side. So this k over lambda it can be factored out and then divided to the other side which then it kind of just goes away. Then we have the e to the raised to this power on both sides divided out or factored out divided it goes away. Um, we have a uh, 1 over lambda common in both, factored out, divided over, goes away. Um, and I think that's it. So then what's left over is this equal to 0. Then um, what I like to do is uh, we this piece here, you know, we, if we factor out a... Um, x over lambda k minus 2 from from this term and this term it goes out and then it goes away so over here we're left with just k minus 1 and then over here we're left with that becomes uh, x over lambda to the 1 but then when it's factored in here we just get to the k so that so we're left with this piece and k minus 1 but we take the 1 to the other side and then uh, we uh, subtract k, divide by minus k, we get this, and then we take the uh, kth root of both sides, and we get this. Now there's one uh, criteria here that, remember x is, its domain is zero or more, 
And so if, if K is greater than uh, one, then this is negative. And so that can't happen. So we have to restrict it to be uh, greater than one. But if it e um, yeah, so that's it. it has to be greater than one. And that's it. So that's the mode of the distribution. Well, hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.